All right, Gary, so we're out here at SC Village for Decay Nations, and you were just coming into the paintball booth, and you're just kind of reminiscing about some uh, long ago memories, like yes. you you shot the 007, you shot the Splatmaster, you played the, with the, them all. This was the gun I started with. People Plastic. see you People see you walking around taking pictures, and they don't actually realize that you've been paintballing longer than they've been alive. I started 1986. Yeah, where at? Um, there was no place. Oh. There was a guy with a pickup truck, and this is before the internet. We would do a telephone tree, which no one uh -huh. knows what that is. Do you guys know what that is? And we would decide where to go. The guy would show up with his pickup truck, and he would hand each of these, each of us one of these guns. Spotmaster? It or a Nelspot? It was plastic. I don't remember. I don't know what it was. Or it could have been a dark side Uzi. You remember and those, like, giant black? No, they looked like that. It was a Spotmaster. But I remember we had to do that to fire Yeah, it, it was a Spotmaster. And we would go out up into Malibu, and uh -huh. on a big game, you might have, like, 15 balls. Yeah. And you could probably shoot, I don't know, 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And then when you got shot, you had a vest, an orange vest you would take out of your pocket and put on and walk off the field. Huh. But sometimes in a big game, you would like the game would be over and you didn't even know it. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> um, wasn't uh, that wasn't at Conquest though or no, Quest. No, it, it was just places in Malibu up yeah. in the mountains. And yeah. then I remember one day somebody showed up with a metal gun and we were just terrified. Uh huh. Um, but there were no no barrel plugs, no chrono, no nothing. Yeah. And the really good players, they would take off this part. Uh huh. Yeah. And you wouldn't play with that part. And what you would do is when you're when you got low on air, you would uh -huh. open this up and you'd flick yeah. the CR2 cartridge out while, while it had pressure uh -huh. in it. And the CR2 cartridge would then fly away and you put a new one in and tighten it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that yeah. was kind of the way to go. And then what people would do is they would make that noise. <laughs> And they weren't changing their <laughs> trick of the trade, huh? Trick of the at trade. That, that time. was the original. That was the original trick of the trade. Yeah, that um, was one of the but, originals. Like, haha, got you right yeah, there. But there. There was no, um, there was no organization. Yeah, um, yeah. And I, I remember we would all go to Big Five and buy safety glasses. Yeah, yeah. And everybody made fun of me because I had covers on the sides of my safety glasses. Uh huh. You know when a uh, shy, side shot yeah, knocked you know, your eyes and out. You get hit in the teeth and the yeah. mouth. And the did ear. you ever get shot in the mouth and knock of any course. teeth out? Oh yeah. But did you no, ever no, have to no, fix no, any no, players' no, teeth no, no, that no, no. actually got no. them knocked out? But you got out? like a mouthful of paint and it tastes terrible. <laughs> and yeah, it was crazy. But uh -huh. it was. Uh, Awesome. It's, it's just amazing um, yeah. where the sport has come. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, now you're photographing people all over the world, and they're not even realizing that you've been playing paintball longer than they've been alive. So, yeah, it's it's amazing how long I've been here, and I I, uh, I don't know if I should be proud of it or ashamed of it. Yeah, but I've, I've been in the sport '85. Um, for me, uh, my son got me into the photography thing. I worked actually um, for a climbing magazine doing pictures uh -huh. in the 80s and 90s. And yeah. then um, one day I took a camera out of the field at Hollywood Sports. Yeah. And um, the rest was history. Yeah, it just, yeah. Had, you know, yeah. it was just weird. Awesome. So, Very cool, Gary. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Great. All right. Thanks. What do you think oh, about the paintball history display today? Um, well, I'll tell you what I said a minute ago. I feel like I'm in my garage. <laughs> <laughs>